Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. And in this video, I want to talk to you about what your house is built on. And if you're a builder and you're just about to quote for a job or you've got a dig to do and you might wonder what the ground is made up of, this free service from the British Geological Survey is absolutely brilliant at telling you what you're up against. So you can go anywhere in the country. This particular building that I was looking at earlier, they were saying that it was built on the Hythe Formation. If we go down to Hythe, which is there, just up from Dover, this was 100 million years ago this happened, a little bit before my time. What we've got here is a geological deposit and all the way from Hythe it's been pushed up here close to the north downs close to this is all chalk here all the way through here quite high chalk and this around about 100 million years ago was pushed up around here and it runs all the way along the foot of the north downs this is a deposit that has gone all the way up and round there and comes right under my back garden. And when I've been digging, when I've dug a soak away or something like that, I've come across these big lumps of ironstone. And honestly, you couldn't drill through them. You couldn't hack through them. If I've got a pick and I'm digging a soak away, when I get to that, it's a, it's a hammer and chisel job just to break through it. So you've got this bedrock, if you like, of geology, which is a very, very hard sandstone, ironstone, and uh, it's sedimentary bedrock, and it is 126 million years old, somewhere around there, between 113 and 126 million, and it was in the Cretaceous period, which was basically when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So great, you know, so I could dig down there, I might have found a dinosaur fossil down there if I had, uh, dug a bit further, but who knows. But anyway, the dinosaurs ruled the earth just about then, and then uh, we had the meteorite storm and that uh, wiped them out, wiped out all the mammals on Earth. And then there was a period of a regathering before we had another period of geology. But, but all this lot, the interesting thing to me is all this lot, right, the whole bit of the south of England, all the way across here, right across to the Belgian coast, that's France, but Belgium's over there, and right over to the Belgian coast, was underwater and that was actually a big freshwater lake huge freshwater lake and the north sea hadn't broken through to the english channel so that was a land mass all the way across there and on top of that land mass was this this lake absolutely amazing you can find out all that kind of stuff you can see just where you are so just go anywhere else in the country wherever you live supposing you live in bath we can go to bath and we can see what's going on in Bath. And uh, we have the inferior oolite group, which is limestone, sedimentary bedrock. And that is 174 million years old. And that was formed during the Jurassic period. So there's a lot to look at, really, isn't there? And if you're an anorak like me, you're just fascinated by all this stuff. You can go anywhere. You can have a look at Wales. Let's have a look at the, the Black Mountains in Wales and see what's going on there. And that is the same uh, geological makeup as Bath, fun enough. So there you go. It's just great, isn't it? So just go on to the website, look up the British Geological Survey. We will put the link on, on this video and you can go straight to it and have a look at it and discover all kinds of things. So as I say, if you're a builder or if you're buying a house and you're just a bit concerned about what it is, right? So if we look at this, this is London and a lot of people know that London is built on clay. And that clay is a big problem because when you get a drought period, it all shrinks and buildings start to crack. And when you get a wet period, you get what they call heave. The clay swells up and it starts pushing the buildings around. So it's quite amazing, really, that the biggest city in Britain is built on clay. And another thing that I discovered just looking at all this geological information is that the River Thames... At one point, the River Thames used to go up here, across here to St Albans, and then make its way down to the, the Thames Estuary. So that was it. What happened is there was a big glacier that blocked the river, if you like. The ice blocked the river, and then it forced its way through. It burst down here somewhere and made its way through, and that's why it goes through London. And the other interesting thing is that 
When that high formation was formed 100 million years ago, there was no ice anywhere on the planet. The North and the South Pole were covered with forests. So that gives you a little bit of perspective, doesn't it, on things like climate change, when everyone's jumping up and down about climate change, whether it's man-made or not. A long time before man was around, and you can't imagine that dinosaurs were lighting fires and burning fossil fuels, can you? But a long time before that happened, there was a very, very warm period on the Earth where there were no polar ice caps and everything was pretty warm. I'm not making out a case for saying that climate change is man-made or not man-made. I'm not enough of a scientist to say that. But what I will say is that this planet is subject to a lot of changes and a lot of them have got nothing to do with us. There was a lot of carbon around during that period and it was coming from rotting forests and all the rest of it. That vegetation basically was rotting down and that became the oil that we're using today. So go figure, that's all I'm saying. So, you know, for me, it's an endless subject of fascination. For you, you may have already switched off by now, in which case uh, I'm not even talking to you. Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. Come back and see me soon. I hope you found that interesting and useful. I might even find some more of these little things out because I'm about to do a whole thing on London and the building of London. And I think there's a hell of a lot of interesting information in that.